The BBC's operation in India looks to be paying the price for a documentary it showed here, criticising Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Its offices in New Delhi and Mumbai have been raided, strangely, perhaps by tax officers. The phones and documents of BBC staff were confiscated. Mr Modi did manage to stop the documentary being shown in India, but clips have appeared on social media. This series tells the story of Narendra Modi's troubled relationship with India's Muslims. This is the BBC documentary India's authorities were desperate for their people not to see. It is obviously a stain on his reputation. It criticises the country's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, and his role in anti-Muslim riots. More than 1,000 were killed in Gujarat in 2002, and it's alleged authorities allowed or even encouraged the violence. Something Modi, who is chief minister of the state at the time, has always denied. This morning, at two of the BBC's offices in the country, a search was carried out by India's tax department. At a press conference, a spokesperson for Modi's party claimed the BBC has a tainted history of working with dislike and malice against India. But others argue today's search is a ploy to intimidate and an undemocratic move in the world's biggest democracy. He wants to control Meta, he wants to control WhatsApp, he wants to control Twitter, he wants to control, of course, the Indian media, we know that story. Now he also wants to control and intimidate foreign media. Why? The fallout has been going on for weeks. <laughs> These were the chaotic scenes at Delhi University last month. Police and security staff scuffling with students. They wanted to learn more about the documentary in question, but the authorities were determined to block them from watching it, much to their dismay. Where is our freedom to express? Here we students are not supposed to watch a documentary. If it is hidden, if it is banned, then sure there might be something important in it. Since Modi came to power in 2014, there have been consistent questions over his approach to the media. Could he have done more to prevent violence? The BBC say their documentary was rigorously researched and what the matter resolved quickly. But the fact they are one of a number of news organisations to be searched in recent years suggests this is a long-term issue in India. Mark McQuillan, News at 10.